Hello wig junkies, it's me Zenzele. Welcome to my channel, Urban Eve. In this video, I'm going to do a quick review of this unit I'm wearing right now. This is Wig Isabella from Outre's Melted Hairline series. I'm going to try to do more of my wig reviews like this, starting with it on my head as opposed to first impressions, because I feel like I'm able to give you a more definitive uh, review and an overall sort of like feeling that I have about units when I've had a chance to wear them for at least a day. So this is the stock card for Wig Isabella. This color right here, I believe it is, oh, it says DRFF Hazelnut. I think this color is so beautiful, so gorgeous. I don't remember whether it was available when I ordered it, but I knew I wanted to try something different. Like I looked at this and I was like, oh, I love this, but I was just like, I'm gonna try a completely different color. So the unit that I'm wearing right now is DR Sandy Blonde. So this unit comes with redesigned comfort fit ear to ear contour on the cap. It has a frontal effect hairline, as all the melted hairline uh, wigs from Outre do. It says no plucking required. It has baby hairs included. It has a pre-attached wide elastic band, and it is heat safe up to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. For those who are new to the Outre Melted Hairline series, there's actually space in the front here. Just in the front, there's more lace so that you can kind of part it, like starting over here if you wanted to. And when I initially got this, I think it was like, you know, I'll put in some video, but it was like parted in a weird way in the front so that basically this middle part was not a straight part. And that was driving me crazy because I'm a middle part lady and I like my middle parts to be as straight as possible. But because of that extra lace in the front, I was able to take my comb and take this little bit of hair that was over on this side and flip it over this way. I did not do much styling with this unit when I first got it. I really just pulled it out and put it on my head. But this, what you're seeing right now, is the result of me adding some heat to it, you know, fixing that part up, definitely spraying a little bit more lace tint um, spray in it. And I also put some powder in the part as well. So I think that what you see here, the final, uh, style look is really, really beautiful. The pros about this unit are that it is super big head friendly. And I will tell you that my head measures 22 inches in circumference and my hair is very short. So most wigs fit comfortable on me. But the reason why I know that this is a big head friendly wig is because there is space in here. I can feel it. You can't see it. Like it doesn't bunch up in a way that you can see but I can feel the space back here and when I pull it down in the back I feel all all of the space on the sides you can also tell it's big head friendly because of how far down it comes on the side like because I just pulled it down this literally comes over my ear but if I pull my ear out you can see just how close the the sides of this cap come down on either side of my head. So this is definitely a big head friendly unit. It's also very comfortable. This um, cap is nice and stretchy. After I got used to this color, which I like intentionally got to throw myself off, I actually really like it. And I think that pairing this with something elegant, something a little bit more dressy than what I was wearing when I initially uh, pulled this out, I think this really zhuzhes it up a lot because this is a fancy, you know, wig. This is not like your everyday uh, kind of color, I will say. I do think that it is a really good everyday wig. In a natural color, I would, I would throw this on every day to work. The texture of this unit, it's very smooth, light, yakky texture. There's no tangling. I got no tangling with this unit. I hardly even noticed any shedding when I cut the lace, which doesn't seem possible, but I don't have any hair on the floor, like nothing. And I'm not really sure why that is, but that's that's fantastic. Like I have no complaints about that. As to the pre-plucking, I mean, there's definitely some pre-plucking going on here. 
and I feel like this lace melted really nicely. Um, I can always go for a little extra pre-plucking, like along here maybe, but honestly, I feel like I'm good with this. Like, I think this is really nice. Like if you're going to like cut this and like glue these uh, tabs down, you could definitely style this up a lot by cutting this here and you'll see that there's still a lot of transparent lace here. So they did do something. It's not a completely straight hard edged hairline. So other pros I have about this unit are this, this length. If you've been watching my channel long enough, you'll know that I love bob units. I have a very soft spot in my heart for bob units because of how elegant they are and how easy they are to wear with, you know, casual clothes to dress up and to dress down. I think that this length is very wearable. I think the way the hair moves is really nice. Um, I love the texture, as I mentioned already. And I think that, like I said, in a natural color, this is the kind of unit that I would like throw on and go immediately. Like it's just very easy to style and it's very low maintenance. All things that I love about a really good bob unit. But my only real con was fixing the parting space right here, but that actually proved to be a lot easier than I thought it would be. I will say that there is only one more con that I have for this wig. It's not a huge one, but it is a con. So this lace is really soft lace and putting the unit on with that wide elastic strap, which by the way, serves no purpose except as a guide to sort of like put it on and then put the wig on your head. The soft lace is so soft that when you put this unit on, it, it can fold underneath itself because it's so thin and so soft. Whereas a unit that had harder lace or had tabs on it like the Wigladonna, it stays down a lot better. And it just, you can kind of establish where the perimeters of the cap are a lot better with a harder lace. And that's just one of the pros of harder lace. I know that there are also pros for um, soft lace as well, that it's it seems to be a bit more seamless and it's lighter but I've noticed it the second time around putting on this unit that I have to kind of pull it up and and pull it frontwards to make sure that the lace and all of it is like exposed and laying flat onto my scalp so that's that's really the only other con that I have about this unit as it says in the stock card, this unit does come with baby hairs, but when I put this wig on, those baby hairs just disappeared. And I just didn't really feel that I needed it. Um, but of course you're welcome to do that. If you purchase this unit and you like baby hairs, the baby hairs are there. So I would definitely say that this unit would look amazing with the baby hairs laid down, but I think it also looks fantastic with no baby hairs, just like this. I would definitely say that with this lace being so light that you're gonna want to uh, use some kind of adhesive to secure it down because it's not going to just stay down the way that it would if it was a hard lace. Like I wouldn't feel secure just kind of like walking out on a windy day with this unit without putting some kind of like, you know, um, free spray or, you know, gotta be glue or whatever that you use to bond um, your lace down. Other than that, I think that this is a gorgeous unit. I really, really like it. I may get it in another color. Um, also, this unit is pretty affordable, I believe. Once again, the Outre uh, Melted Hairline units are around like the mid 30s. It's probably about 40 something um, with shipping and tax. I think that's very, very reasonable. I'm going to do a 360 so you can see this unit from the sides and the back and then come back with any other final thoughts that I have about Wig Isabella. So 
I think that is basically it for my review of Wig Isabella. Again, I got her from Outre's HD Melt Hairline Series. This is the color DR Sandy Blonde. Um, a really easy, elegant, low maintenance sleigh. Uh, if you are into bob wigs, I would definitely recommend this. So I hope that you enjoyed my review. Let me know what you think about this new format of wig review for my channel. I think that it helps me to kind of bring my feelings about these units to you in a more like informed way. So well, let me know what you think of this unit, um, if this is a unit that you were thinking about picking up or if you purchased it already, what you thought about it. I would love to hear your comments. I always love to hear from you. Um, and that is basically it for my review of Wig Isabella. I hope that you enjoyed it and I hope to see you in my next video soon. Bye.